I'm IC3 Duckler, and you're watching the 70s. It's been more than two years since Carl Vinson has seen foreign waters. We've been through carrier qualifications, COM2X, and JTFX. But for the senior leadership on board, the training isn't quite finished. Petty Officer Hansel Pinto sits down with members of the Regional Security Education Program from the Naval Postgraduate School to find out what makes the program so important to Carrier Strike Group 1's deployment. In order to sustain Carrier Strike Group 1's readiness, members of the Regional Security Education Program from the Naval Postgraduate School visited Carl Vinson to brief senior leadership on history and geopolitical affairs of the Middle East, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and China. And the idea behind the program is to enable better operational decision making by acquainting senior leaders with the regional security environments in which they can expect to operate. Mark Huber, Program Manager for Middle East and Central Asia at the Center for Civil Military Relations at the Naval Postgraduate School led a team of experts in a series of briefs on topics affecting the 5th Fleet area of responsibility. I'm an associate professor for the Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm a professor of history and director of interdisciplinary studies at Towson University and the University of Maryland system. Uh, I'm a professor at the Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies in Honolulu. I'm a politico-strategic analyst on South Asia is one way of describing me. The education team spent eight days aboard Carl Vinson and conducted more than 24 briefs in which they shared essential regional information designed to raise Carrier Strike Group 1's cultural and political awareness, preparing sailors to carry out America's mission. So we're able to provide a portfolio of briefings that is uh, suitable not just for the areas where the strike group is expected to operate, but also to prepare the strike group for any contingency operations uh, that might develop. It's a program that, that, that serves as a, a rich and deep resource for all the elements of the strike group. The education team shared how the program benefits sailors on deployment. It's good for you to be aware of what's going on in India and in Pakistan and also in Afghanistan in these regional areas where the U.S. has an interest and in the case of Afghanistan still has forces. Uh, it gives them a really broad brush stroke of the kinds of issues and uh, that are pertinent to the region, the Asia Pacific as well as the Middle East region, and makes them aware of exactly what are the hot uh, the flashpoints as well as the hot uh, topics that are relevant uh, to their practice as well. The more that you know about the mission, the more that you know about the region, the more that you know about the cultures, uh, I think the, 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 the greater the chances that we'll both avoid incidents that we don't wish to have, but also the better we'll represent the country. Petty Officer Hansel Pintos, USS Carl Vinson. All right, are we standing by ready for zone inspection? Morning, Master. Petty Officer Jackson, present space 05 tech 180 tech hey. zero. How's it gone? You think you're going to pass? I don't think you're gonna pass. You left me out. Big old bag of trash. Maybe I should look around. It really is an awesome morning, Master Dirty space. Clean it up with 45 minutes of cleaning station. The cleaning station! Fabulous. For a good clean ship, no matter what. Sweet home clean station! In its infancy, the U.S. Navy borrowed heavily from the traditions and tactics employed by the British Navy. Now it's our turn to lend a helping hand to our allies in England. Petty Officer Alex King sat down with our British counterparts to discuss the training they'll receive while on board. The British Navy is currently working to introduce an aircraft carrier into their fleet. So where better to train their sailors than aboard America's favorite? Uh, the Royal Navy is uh, about to bring in a new aircraft carrier into the Royal Fleet. Uh, called the HMS Queen Elizabeth. It's approximately 75% of the size of Covington. Now we haven't had a, a, a ship 
this big in the Royal Navy ever. So, and having no fixed wing aircraft for the last four years on, in the naval uh, aviation world, we are the fourth team to come out to a CVN to uh, gain the experience from the UK, uh, US guys and uh, absorb as much of the fixed wing experience, even involving cats and traps, so that when we go back to the QE, the HMS Queen Elizabeth, we can then uh, push that experience out onto our flight decks so we can maintain a safe standard of aviation. While on board, these sailors will work side by side with our air department to learn exactly how Carl Vinson gets the mission done. In this deployment, I'm gonna be starting off from the bottom. We start off initially looking from the vulture deck, looking down on the operations on the fly deck. And once we've gauged a bit of an experience from looking there, we then go onto the deck. We do like your chocks and your chains. And from that, once we've weighed that off, we then go into the tractor driving. And from tractor driving, we then become UIs on the director level. And once we get to the right kind of stage, we pass all the right assessments and pass the right boards, we then go for your full director. Their presence and participation on deployment is proof positive of America and England's commitment to partnership, enhancing trust, cooperation, and mutual respect. Reporting for the 70, I'm Petty Officer Alex King. To continue our series, Petty Officer Samuel LeCain brings you a one-minute exposure with our Deployment Resiliency Counselor to discuss exactly how she can help you while on this deployment. Well, I'm a representative from the Fleet and Family Support Center. Um, I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. And what I will be doing is working with the sailors as a counselor. Probably 80% of my job I'll be counseling. Uh, another 20% I'll be running groups and doing trainings. Across the board, the, the relationship dynamics, whether it's, whether it's with a romantic relationship, whether it's with friends, whether it's with coworkers, whether it's with, um, with supervisors or supervisees, I think a lot of the, the human relation dynamics are the same. And so anybody can benefit from that. So I would encourage anyone who is struggling in those areas to come in and see me. And um, the way I see it is, is kind of what I said earlier, that um, when people start to feel accused, blamed, um, finger pointed at, uh, when that starts happening, that's going to shut communication down. And people, all you're going to see are two defended people going at each other, and there isn't going to be progress. People can come by and see me at the SARP office, which is right across from medical. Um, they can also email me at yvette.curry at cvn70.navy.mil. And my name is spelled Y-V-E-T-T-E-C-U-R-R-I-E. I want an A2 composite. You gave me A3. The colors don't match. Right? And when are you going to hire my scrubs? Why can't you listen? Officer Gonzalez, nice job on those photos. Get in front of the crew. You heard her. Time for chow. Go enjoy your lunch. What are those guys staring at? Are they staring at me? That's strange. Ugh, not this guy again. Hey, you're gorgeous. How you doing today? Uh, good, I guess. Listen, I uh, saw you at the gym the other day. Those squats were on point. It's beautiful. Thanks. Does he have to do this every morning? Wait, 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 wait. 
But after work tonight, uh, you and me get some drinks. I can't. I have plans. So come on, it'll be fun. You come over to my place, have a few drinks, and uh, you could even spend the night. Uh, no, I, I can't. I've got lots of work to do. Sorry. All right, hey, call me. Why can't I just have coffee in peace? Hey, I stopped by your room last night. You weren't there. Where would you go? It's fitting to have some fun. Let go of me. I gotta go. Hey, you alright? I'm fine, I don't want to talk about it. Alright. Any seasoned sailor can tell you that a long deployment can mean a great deal of repetition as the days come and go. In our next story, Petty Officer James Guthrie takes a water break with the Fit Boss to discuss some of the workout and fitness options that are available to the sailors aboard this mighty warship. As the stress from being on deployment builds, there are a variety of ways to stay positive. Implementing a regular workout routine is a great way to relieve stress and improve your physical wellness. It's definitely a lifestyle. You can't force people to, to come out and want to work out. It has to be definitely, it's a mental mindset. You have to have a mindset to get up every morning or stay up late at night after your watch to go take it upon yourself to work out. That's why we offer you know, classes for those that we call health seekers who might not feel comfortable to go out and work with someone one-on-one -on -one or do it by themselves. That extra help is great because you're with a group of people going through the same thing that you're going through. Here on the Carl Vinson, there is a wealth of options available for you to go out and burn some calories and have some fun at the same time. Oh my gosh, there's so many... So many things to do here, not just only with myself, uh, the Fit Boss, but also with the Fun Boss, Rebecca. Um, we offer a great variety of different things to do. But on the fitness end, we have at least eight classes on Monday, four classes on Tuesday, and then we start, just started our intramural sports captain's cup starting September 9th. The Fit Boss has built a reputation of being the hardest working fitness trainer in our recent history and there is one definitive reason for her motivation. My mentality is I don't, I don't believe in no and I don't believe in giving up. So those that I had, for instance, I had one gentleman who was on FEP and refused to do everything. His push-up was basically tapping the floor with his pinky. And every day he came because he had to, so I'd walk up to him and say, you're doing wonderful, you're doing great, keep pushing. And I'd just smile and keep doing it and keep doing it. Sooner or later, by the third week, he ended up doing push-ups. But there's no way you can break me. Her motivation and drive are founded with a great deal of pride and dedication to the welfare of the crew and their individual fitness goals. I love being on the Carl Vincent. The goal for this cycle is to get at least 55 to 65 percent off reduction on set. Um, and I would encourage those that are out there that are, you know, fitness detailed to come out and help those that might need that extra push. It's all about helping the person next to you. And when we start thinking like that, we can only get better. Of all of the different amenities that are available to the sailors aboard, fitness programs are some that shouldn't be overlooked. Come on out, get active, and feel the burn. Reporting for the 70, I'm Petty Officer James Guthrie. That's it for this edition of The 70. I've been your host, MC3 Shantice Gonzalez, and on behalf of the Carl Vinson Media Department, we thank you for watching. Well, yes, I do have one thing. Danny, if, you, if you're going to be hearing this video, I just want you to know that I love you. Good luck on your trip. That's pretty much all I have to say. So we love you, your family is going to be here waiting for you with open arms. Please be safe, come home and here excited for you to do the chapter of your life. We love you. Have a safe trip, Danny. Come back safe. I would. I would like to say that I love you and I'm going to miss you and be safe. If you don't come back, I'm going to be really sad. So try and do that for me. Find time for yourself and um, I love you. I'm gonna miss you a lot. So. Hi Guya. Stay safe. We love you and uh, come back safe.
my son. Oh my god, I got the Okay. Hey, Jake. Hi, 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 Jake.